Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Technical Test Analyst. We are in chapter 2 and continuing with the next topic here is 2.5 that is multiple condition testing. Just to ensure that when you talk about multiple condition testing, we just previous tutorial we covered what is multiple condition decision coverage that is mcdc that's modified condition decision coverage and that allows you in order to reduce the number of test cases from several combination which can be created from a different condition outcomes but here in multiple condition testing you actually try to cover all the test cases which are actually derived from the various combinations of different inputs Thus, in rare instances, it might be required to test all possible combination of atomic conditions that a decision may contain. This exhaustive level of testing is what we call it as multiple condition testing. The number of required tests is dependent on the number of atomic collections or conditions in the decision statement and can be determined by calculating 2 raised to the power n, where n is the number of uncoupled automatic condition. Now, coverage is measured as the number of unique condition combinations executed by test divided by the total number of condition combination in the test object, normally expressed as a percentage as well. That's the basic definition of coverage, which we generally know from the foundation. But yes, we do have certain criteria which you can basically apply and uh, think about why the techniques were actually created. So the number of test cases using multiple condition testing uh, can be derived directly from the truth table containing all the atomic conditions. This level of coverage can easily be determined by just counting the number of test cases which are created and if you are exercising all of them, you have 100% coverage. However, this shear down of the number of test cases required makes MCDC coverage for more feasible or most situations. Now let's quickly look at the example which we used in the previous technique that is modified condition decision coverage and we tried to shrink that or shear it down with four test cases in order to reduce our effort and get the minimum number of test cases for 100% modified condition decision coverage. But here the same scenario will be actually covering all possible combination and thus the name is multiple condition testing. So here we try with all possible combination with a different set of outputs. So if you share this down and come to a minimum number of test cases by using n plus 1 where n is the number of condition, you call it as modified condition uh, decision coverage. But here minimum test cases for 100% MCT, that's multiple condition testing, is 2 raised to n where n is the number of condition that is 3. So totally we would need 8 test cases. Now that's where to a certain extent multiple condition testing is also not being practiced quite widely into the organizations. But yes, when it comes to safety critical system or you talk about automotives, aer aero systems like aviations, we have to try all possible combination. Thus this technique is very helpful in safety critical systems like aviations and automotives which has to be tested with all possible combinations in order to release a quality product to the market. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring and keep understanding the context. We'll be getting back to you with another tutorial, with another technique on this chapter. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.